Hello friends, welcome back to Garage One. If you are new to Garage One, please do not forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Today I'll be making mutton recipe using one kg mutton. Half of the proportion I will be making mutton pilaf, and the other half I'll be making a quick mutton chili. Firstly, let's pressure cook the mutton. You need few spices like snuff of fennel seeds, jeera, methi seeds, cardamom pods, black peppercorn, cinnamon sticks, and clove. Here I have got one kg medium cut mutton pieces, one tomato chopped. Three medium onion chopped, two teaspoon coarsely ground ginger garlic paste. Now, in a pressure cooker, heat one big spoon of ghee. Add all the whole spices. Cut it for a few seconds. See that the flame is under low heat. You get the wonderful aroma of the roasted spices. Now, add the chopped onions. You need to fry the onions until they are transparent. Now, I'll be adding the turmeric powder. Add the chopped tomatoes. Add salt. Fry the tomatoes well for around two to three minutes. Now add the ginger garlic paste. Stir fry well for around two to three minutes. This is the perfect consistency. Now we will be adding the mutton pieces. I have got very good tender cut mutton pieces. Keep the flame under moderate heat and continue stir frying the mutton along with the masala for around 5 to 8 minutes. You can see here the mutton has changed its color. Now I'll be adding 4 cups of water. The mutton pieces need to get soaked well. Give a quick stir. Close the lid and pressure cook the mutton for 3 to 4 whistles. Cooking the mutton depends on the quality of the pressure cooker and even the mutton pieces you have. After 4 whistles, switch off the flame. Keep it aside until the steam gets released. I'm getting the wonderful aroma of the cooked mutton along with the spices. Mutton looks perfectly cooked. See that you do not overcook the mutton. Now, I will be collecting half part of the mutton pieces aside for making the mutton chilli. Next, for making the pilaf, we need 1 cup of mint leaves, 1 cup of ground coconut paste. I have taken 2 cups of basmati washed well. The coconut paste to the cooked mutton and the stock. Mix well and let it boil well. Now, I will be adding 1 tablespoon of garam masala powder. This is homemade garam masala powder. You can use any garam masala powder of your choice. Next, add 1 tablespoon of biryani masala powder. Mix all well. Add the mint leaves. Now, throughout this process, I have kept the flame under high heat. Now, I will be adding the basmati rice. Mix all well. Adjust the salt as required. Now finally, I will be adding 4 slit green chilies. I will be stirring it gently and cooking the rice until it is 60% done. If you feel you need to add a little of water, you can add. I will be adding half cup of water. Remember that we have added 4 cups of water previously for cooking the mutton. So, for 2 cups of basmati rice, the water consistency is balanced. Now, here you see the rice is partially cooked. At this point, I will be closing the lid and cooking it under low heat for 5 minutes only. After 5 minutes of cooking under steam, switch off the flame. Keep aside for 5 to 8 minutes until the steam is released. Here you see the simple and delicious mutton pilaf ready. The rice is perfectly cooked and you can get the wonderful aroma of the palau. You get the wonderful flavor of the spices along the cooked mutton and the coconut paste and the mint leaves gives the additional flavor to the palau. Isn't it looking yummy and delicious? Please do try this mutton recipe and do share your comments. I prefer enjoying the mutton palau as plain without any raita or salan. Next, I'll be making a quick mutton chili. Heat 1 teaspoon of ghee in a pan. Add 1 small onion finely chopped. 
fry the onion until it is transparent now add one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste stir fry for few seconds until the raw smell is gone now add one small chopped tomato stir fry the tomato for two to three minutes hope you have subscribed to garage oven if not please do subscribe and click the bell icon also please do not forget to view my other recipes too and leave your comments i'll be adding a little of salt see that you do not add more salt since the mutton is already cooked with salt i'll be adding a very little of turmeric powder now finally i'll be adding the cooked mutton pieces there are nearly 10 to 12 mutton pieces you can see that i had also included half cup of the mutton stock too set the flame under high heat and continue stir frying it for around 2 to 3 minutes now i'll be adding 2 teaspoon of kashmiri red chilli powder you can add any red chilli powder of your choice if you prefer it to be more spicy now i'll be adding 2 tablespoon of fresh thick curd continue stir frying i will be stir frying it for around 5 to 8 minutes under moderate to high heat Finally, I'll be adding 3 slit green chilli. You can also add some chopped curry leaves. Now continue stir frying for 2 to 3 minutes under high heat. Finally, I'll be splashing some water so that all the masala and the chilli flavors get infused with the mutton piece. I will continue stir frying for the rest of 3 to 5 minutes until the water evaporates. Now it's perfectly done. Isn't it looking very delicious? This is one of the best appetizer or a starter which you can try. This was my way of making the mutton pulao and the mutton chilli. A very quick recipe which you must try. Thank you for watching Garajavan. I'll be coming with yet another delicious recipe. Happy cooking. Stay connected. Bye.